Hi friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss on the steps for Ansible installation and we will discuss about our lab setup. Uh, we go to three servers. First server name Ansible-Control. This server will be our Ansible control server where we will install our Ansible software. The remaining two servers, they are Ansible clients and I have named them DB server and app server. They will be Ansible clients and uh, one server, DB server will function as our database server. Second server will act as app server. To install Ansible software. So Ansible software is available on EPEL repositories. We will use yum commands to install the software on uh, Ansible control server and uh, Ansible control account. So this is best practice to use known root account to manage uh, Ansible configuration uh, or communication between uh, your server, your server mean your Ansible control server and Ansible clients. So we will be using Unix account ANS ADM, group name is same and uh, role is Ansible admin account. So uh, this is our lab set of friends. So now Let's jump to technical session now. Okay friends, so I am on server Ansible control. We will be installing Ansible software here. And this server will act as our Ansible control server. So, yum repo list. Let me show you repos config on this server. If you see this server got EPEL repository. I have already configured it. So let's install Ansible now. Yum install Ansible. Okay, so this is the package name Ansible. Noak. This is a version 2.1 which we are going to use. And uh, we are downloading it from EPEL repository as I explained above. So saying yes, yeah, we want to install this one. Okay, so installation is done. Let's validate installation. Okay, Ansible package is installed. So uh, let me explain a uh, little bit about this package. I do QL on this package. If you see uh, this particular directory, EC, etc Ansible, that is the main configuration directory. This is the Ansible configuration file. This is Ansible host file where uh, all the client information is saved. So when I say information, these are Ansible inventory directory. So client names or server names are saved in this directory. These are Ansible roles. This is the main Ansible command. This is Ansible console command and uh, Ansible doc. Galaxy, this is for running playbooks. This is Ansible pool and Ansible vault. And uh, these are the Python libraries because as I explained in intro section, Ansible use Python. So these are the libraries and uh, various Python scripts to manage Ansible. And uh, these are modules. So this information is for Amazon module. And here, uh, if you see this particular module is to manage uh, Azure cloud. And this is for digital ocean and docker cloud openstack so ansible can manage everything rackspace vmware database this is file module this is inventory module network module and uh, source control system module utilities web infrastructure management module this is for windows with ansible you can manage windows servers also these are extras so friends a big list if you can see uh, there are a lot of uh, modules available for uh, each type of infrastructure management. So friends, uh, Ansible is installed. So now as I said, uh, to manage Ansible perfect uh, in the perfect way, we will create an Ansible administrator user. So I'm doing user ADM, user add, sorry, user add minus D, I'm uh, creating it in home directory.
so user is created it is saying uh, file is already existing because maybe there is a, a pre configuration so user is added let's say password okay i have set password uh, i will set this user to non expiry because uh, and that's my requirement Okay, so user is uh, created. I will follow same steps on other servers. This is my DB server, which is Ansible client. I'm adding user, setting a password now. So friends, Ansible, that NCDM user need to be created on clients as well as uh, your uh, control server. Because with you, with this user, Ansible will communicate over network. Similar thing here. Set it uh, non-expiry. Okay, friends, so our Ansible management user is created on uh, Ansible control server as well as client. So next thing we will set up uh, SSH keys. To set up SSH keys, uh, we will set up SSH keys uh, for NCDM user, which is our Ansible administrator user. Just switching to NCDM. So here to generate key, I will use SSH keygen. So I am setting up RSA keys here. Okay, so keys are here. So these are keys, friends. So I will set up these keys on uh, clients. So passwordless communication can work for NCDM user. So I will create a directory here in home directory mkda.ssh ch mode 700.ssh and making honor as an ADM for this directory. Okay, so now in SSS directory I will create authorized key file. putting keys which were generated on uh, control server and uh, I have to change uh, ownership of this file and uh, right now this file is 664 I will uh, change it to 600 okay so let's verify whether keys are working or not. So I'm going to my Ansible control server. Here uh, I just set up keys on uh, DB server. Uh, one thing I have added is ETC host entries. I don't have DNS server. So I have added uh, local ETC entries. So on this server we just set up keys. So let's verify I'm just doing SSH then server name. It shouldn't prompt uh, password because I have already set it up keys. Okay, if you see our keys are working, so perfect. Now setups, I'm exiting here. So let's set up same keys on uh, other server. I'm just copying keys again. Other server mean our application server. So same procedure here. This is our application server. So switch to NCDM user here. mkdir.ssh ch on. 700 sorry and cdm and group is same and cdm dot ssh and ch mode 700 dot ssh now inside ssh we will create authorized key file which we did couple of minutes back on a db server
Okay, friends. So key setup is done. Let's verify what's the IP of the server. Code 90 10 10 220. And I am switching to my Ansible control server. And uh, this is a server, app server. I'm just doing SSH. It should communicate passwordless. I'm saying yes because that's the first time login. Okay, good. If you see now from Ansible control server, I logged on to app server without password. So our keys are working. This is the first requirement uh, for Ansible. And uh, just for your information, Ansible can uh, work with password also, but that's a headache uh, for system admin. So what I recommend, just set up SSH keys. And that's a preferred way by Ansible also. So friends, uh, key, key setup is done. And next thing uh, in this exercise, we will do, as I said, uh, etc ncdm, sorry, etc ansible. This directory is the main directory where all configuration file or uh, inventory is saved. If you see right now, its owner is root root, means an ncdm user can't write on this one. So what I will do, you can create your separate directory or uh, where you keep all the configurations, but this is lab setup. Here I'm going to change owner of this directory to ncdm. recursively okay so now as ncdm user which is my ansible administrator user i can manage the configuration files uh, thanks friends for watching this video in next video we will discuss about ansible commands and then we will discuss about Ansible playbook and a couple of automation tasks. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned. We will discuss other things in the next video. Thanks a lot, friends. Bye-bye.